Hi everybody, this is Kathleen Alcala. Welcome to this little video I'm doing. So you're probably wondering what is going on with this ugly <laughs> jar. I don't know if you guys can actually see the concoction going on in here. I decided I want to rest up my paper clips, safety pins. I was going to buy some on Amazon and went in sticker shock and said for rusty stuff? Mm, I think so. So I have never done it before. This is the first time, so I'm kind of excited to open it. Um, ooh, I feel like I can hear, uh, oh, ooh. This didn't explode, right? <laughs> See the goop, gooey goop. So what I did is I watched some videos and saw what people did. So what they, what they used was two parts hydrogen peroxide, one part vinegar and then a teaspoon of salt. And you can make as much as you want. So it's two part, one part. That's kind of how you just kind of figure it out. So I'm going to, and I left it overnight. So I left it outside in the day yesterday. So let's pull these things out. Let's see how rusted they really became. Um, I had some jumbo paper clips. I'm gonna show you the difference because I have the regular ones right here. So, I'm hoping that they come out. So far they look black. So that's a good thing, I guess. My question is, if I threw more things into this rusty water, would it still work or do you have to do fresh? I don't know. It smells much of vinegar. Ugh. Not a pleasant smell. Okay, I don't know if I got it all. Um, the what I was listening to is the ladies were saying, don't throw this down the drain. I guess rust breeds rust. So I will do my bit and throw it out in the dirt. And then the gardeners will go, what in the world is this? <laughs> so they report, hey, there's a <laughs> rust is happening over at that house. <laughs> That's so funny. I think that might be it. I don't feel anything else, okay. Well, I'm gonna leave that in there, that's pretty gross. All right. Okay, so let's, let's take a look, shall we? I don't even wanna to touch it, you guys, to be perfectly honest, it's kind of grossing me out. You know what I should have done is I should have brought um, gloves. I have some upstairs. Um, let's see. You guys, I'm on call at my job, so if the phone keeps ringing and blinging, I apologize. Um, um, so anyway, I do apologize for that. Okay, so I didn't bring enough paper towels, which was a goober move. Not a surprising one. <laughs> so I had these, you know, when you pull the napkins apart, I try to keep the remnants to use them. Um, then of course I have Cosette crying at my feet because she wants to make attention there. As always, right, you guys, I go again. Get enough with that spoiled dog. Okay. All right. Ooh, look at that. Nasty, right? That's why I don't want to touch it. Okay, so next time you guys, wear gloves don't be like me and not be totally prepared okay so this is really what i was looking to it didn't really change all that much you guys see that's not like a real big oh wow and i thought i'd throw a button in there for good measure <laughs> i know it's not metal but i kind of wanted to age up this button so it did age it up maybe unless i wipe it all clean and then there it is I probably could let it sit. It was a white button. That's that. Okay, let's pull one of these big bad boys out. So I have, I put the stuff that I have, I want to compare it. You guys can compare the two. That's the difference right there. This one was um, yesterday, and this is today, so it's been 24 hours. So let me see if I, if it comes off, if I wipe it. Just 
still rusty looking on the white paper. Um, so I threw in several of those big bobby, big, big paper clips. Because I thought if it works, hey, <laughs> I want to have them at my disposal when I want them. I also even threw in this white clip. I don't know. Ooh, it feels rusted. How funny that is. Um, let's see if this comes out clean or... That was one of those white binder paper clip things. What are they called? Binder pins. See? Didn't really do anything to that. However, it did rust this piece up. And you know what? I was thinking you could just put a little smudge of lace and a little flower. And wouldn't that be cute? Okay. All right. Here's my little safety pins that I was interested in changing up. There's that. Let's pull out one. Wait, let's see, is that in here? Well, these are the big safety pins, but it's kind of the same thing. So you can see the difference. There's not that much of a difference. So um, let me find a big safety pin. So that would be a little bit better. You guys can see that a little more. Okay. Big difference. So some of these will say um, rust resistant and things like that. They don't work, but this is a little better than it was. Um, but these are the difference between the two colors, see? Okay, so I got my safety pins. And then I decided to throw this in. Let me wipe it down. It's a little clippy with a little key on it and that is really rusted this was like bright silver <laughs> i don't have one around to show you guys uh see that came out super rusty hold on i have some here let me grab one to see the difference it's pretty cool look at that Big difference, right? That's huge. I think that's really neat. I like that. That might be my favorite thing so far. See, I've always liked these, but I always felt they just seemed too shiny. I don't like shiny. So I'm going to do that to all of them because I like this much better than that. Okay, and then I did, you know those corner, uh, book corners? Okay, and I have some so you can see the difference. So this is rusted. This is not. See the difference? It really brought it to shine down. There's not that big of a difference. This has a little bit more of a red rusted look than this one does. Um, it's different. Why not? Right? Okay. Yes, so these binder, these paper clips really did good, I think. And did I throw anything else in there? I think that might be, there's another button that didn't do a thing to it. it just decided to sit in the rust and <laughs> be complacent. All right, I think those are all the things I threw in there. I really wanted my safety pins. That was the biggest thing that I really wanted. But look at, this one hardly even looks like it. Look at, you can still see the silver. Um, I'm wondering if it's the type of safety pin. See, look at, this one came out really rusted, right? This is a no regular safety pin, but I bought these that don't have that so that I could um, craft and not be hindered with that little loop right there. So maybe that's why some are really rusted and some are not. And the big ones, same thing, are the same way. Let's see. This came out pretty good, but see, this has the same, there's no loop here. They're crafting ones and didn't come out as rusted as I wanted, but still damp. It's all good.
All right, you guys. So again, two parts peroxide, one part vinegar, teaspoon of salt, put it in a sealed glass container and let it sit for 24 hours. I know I kept looking in to see if I could take it out sooner, but I don't think it was a good idea. <laughs> it didn't look like it had really done much. All right, guys, hope you get to rust up some of your things and have fun using them. Okay, take care. Bye.